Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very important concept related to data pre-processing part in creating one machine learning model. Okay, and that is feature selection. So what is feature? Let me discuss with one example first. So here I have taken one data set, which is basically one classification problem. We have different factors that is pregnancy level, glucose level, blood pressure, skin thickness, insulin, BMI, diabetes pedigree function and age. All this information for a particular patient I have. Okay. Now I need to predict whether that particular person is suffering from uh, diabetes or not. If diabetes then outcome is 1 else outcome is 0. So this is what is one data set I have. I have downloaded this from Kaggle. You can simply search diabetes a prediction machine learning model data set Kaggle you will be getting this data set or else I will be providing providing the link also in the description box you can take from there okay so try to understand this pregnancy how many times one particular person became pregnant glucose level okay blood pressure skin thickness insulin all are basically factors which influence our outcome okay that is based on all these individual factors we are going to predict with whether one person is suffering from diabetes or not so all these are basically feature of our model okay this should be relatively independent that is glucose level one particular feature should not be dependent that much on another particular feature that is blood pressure okay like this ideally it should happen so these individual each one are basically called features where our outcome is this one okay that is person is suffering from diabetes or not this is what we need to predict right so i hope what is the meaning of feature is clear to you in machine learning whether you are considering classification problem or regression problem or clustering problem there are many factors on the basis of which we basically conclude or predict something okay that may be classify classification problem that time we will classify something among some particular class that may be regression problem where output is continuous that may be clustering problem okay based on some factors we conclude our machine learning model gives output those factors are nothing but called features okay now the higher the number of features the harder to get visualized because you can understand in two dimension we can easily visualize something in three dimension it is bit complex in four dimension five dimension or in higher dimension than that obviously it is going to be very difficult to visualize so it is always good if you are having lesser number of features and one more thing not only visualization another particular concept obviously space and time complexity which i am sure you have studied in your data structure and algorithm course in detail right so if you are having more number of features okay based on which your machine learning al algorithm you are going to train and predict something okay if you are giving more number of features then it is going to take more time to train it is going to take more space to train okay obviously more number of features mean more data so to keep more data more space is required so obviously if you are having more number of features then space and time complexity for that particular model creation is going to be more okay so we need to select the features properly not all the features are required for creating one model okay so this is called feature selection okay we are having multiple features from that we are going to filter some particular features which is our requirement that is called feature selection and i am going to discuss one very simple method for feature selection and that is using correlation what is correlation i have already discussed in my previous video in the statistics part the link i'll be providing in the description box if you want you can go and check there Corre correlation is nothing but one statistical measurement which basically tells us how much two variables are basically similar how much two data are basically similar okay so how based on correlation we are going to select features see very simple consider one particular feature suppose uh, skin thickness okay or blood pressure okay it is not that much correlated with the outcome feature okay that is what is the meaning that blood pressure is not that much correlated with outcome that basically means that whether a person will be suffering from diabetes or not that particular outcome okay is not that much dependent on 
the blood pressure level of that particular person okay so now you tell me whether a person is suffering from diabetes or not if that is not that much dependent on blood pressure then we should keep this particular feature or not while creating the model obviously not because that particular outcome is not that much dependent on that particular feature so we can ignore that feature right this is one point okay so what i want to say between the feature and the outcome there should be highly correlation high correlation if high correlation then only we are going to keep otherwise we can remove those okay if there is very less amount of correlation in between the outcome feature and our independent feature okay that time we can uh, if the correlation is less then we can uh, basically simply ignore those and uh, based on rest of the features we can create our model another important part is suppose blood pressure is highly correlated with skin thickness now you tell me whether i should consider both the features or only one is sufficient the correct answer is only one feature is sufficient because try to understand if blood pressure and skin thickness are having high correlation that means they are basically influencing our outcome feature same way okay that that means f1 and f2 two features i am having keeping both in the creation of model is similar to keeping either of them because they are going to influence our model outcome in the same way because they are itself are highly similar that means there is no meaning in keeping both features in our model creation so we can take any of them okay like this also based on correlation we can conclude so two important concept remember guys with respect to feature selection part using the correlation what number 1 the independent features individual features should have high correlation with the outcome okay if they are having very less amount of correlation if one feature is having very less amount of correlation with outcome then we can ignore this because we can understand with uh, very less amount of correlation means they are not outcome is not that much dependent on that particular feature another one is if two independent feature have high correlation that means they are literally dependent that time we can take any of them because keeping both of them is basically irrelevant because both are going to influence our outcome in the similar way right so this is what you should keep in your mind while when creating the model in the feature selection part using correlation now how you can get the correlation values among all this that is how pregnancy level is correlated with glucose blood pressure skin thickness insulin bmi diabetes predictive function age as well as outcome okay. how you can get all this okay that's what i am going to show you so here this is my data set obviously some data pre processing is required i am not going to discuss in my this video later i'll be making one complete end to end project related to this diabetes prediction okay because see, insulin level are zero which is not possible right skin thickness is zero for a particular person in real time is it possible skin thickness zero no blood pressure zero it is not possible so obviously we need to handle this kind of situation in data pre processing part which i am not going to show you for the time being let me show you how you can get all the possible values of correlation in between all the features and the outcome okay in matlab so here what i am doing i am first reading the file clc clear all close all warning of data equal to read table diabetes.csv csv file i am reading and then i am going to use this particular inbuilt function which is called plot present in matlab you can check the detailed documentation from this particular link okay or you can simply write help or plot in command window and you can get the help okay this will basically create a matrix of plots showing correlation among pairs of variable x x is where x is our data set okay so let's do that c o r r p l o t cord plot of data where basically data is our x whatever we have seen in documentation run this control a and evaluate selection right so it will take some time obviously many correlation it has to perform and you will be getting this kind of matrix okay try to understand what this signifies obviously you can understand in the main diagonal it is basically showing the distribution okay because see whatever feature you are having in y axis same you are having in x direct x axis okay 
So how pregnancy is related with pregnancy? Obviously, correlation is going to be one because when you are calculating correlation uh, measurement with one variable with respect to itself, then obviously you are going to get correlation as one. Correlation of x with respect to x is one, right? So when you are calculating correlation metric, correlation value pregnancy of pregnancy with respect to pregnancy, then obviously there is one. So there is no meaning of showing the correlation value. Rather, what MATLAB is showing us the distribution which can give us some information, right? So you can see uh, pregnancy is like this kind of following this kind of distribution. The glucose versus glucose is showing this kind of distribution. And from the distribution, what you can predict? Obviously, I have told you from the distribution, you can predict the outlier. See here, our majority distribution is here. But in this particular part, small part of glucose is present. Like for here, blood pressure versus blood pressure here one small isolated part is present these are basically outliers these are basically zero values present in our data set which is actually not possible but blood pressure zero not possible right so all this information you are getting from this particular distribution and coming to rest of the part okay see how glucose is correlated with rest all the features so first one is showing glucose correlation with pregnancy which is 0 0.13 which is obviously not going to be quite high right because pregnancy is not that much dependent with glucose okay glucose with glucose obviously correlation is one so you are getting one histogram then glucose with blood pressure 0 0.15 obviously not that much which is actually high among all these see glucose and outcome highly highly correlated this is what we know from the basic concept obviously a person is suffering from diabetes or not that is highly dependent on the amount of glucose present in that particular person see you are getting high correlation value 0 0.47 right so this is what you can get see glucose and insulin have a relation i hope you can understand the relation if you are from background of bioscience like that so you can understand that glucose and insulin are related see you can find here 0 0.33 bit high correlation right glucose and skin thickness is not at all that much correlated 0 0.06 almost close to zero so this is what the correlation you can get and if one particular feature having high correlation with respect to another feature then you can take any of them and if one particular feature has very less amount of correlation with the outcome, then you can ignore that particular feature, right? Like here you can see this particular skin thickness and outcome correlation is 0 0.07 with the blood pressure and outcome correlation is 0 0.07, which is quite obvious. The blood pressure is not that much uh, good representative of the diabetes. Diabetes, if a person is suffering from diabetes or not, you cannot predict properly from the blood pressure. So, if you want, you can ignore this particular feature. Because it is unnecessary increasing the model complexity, time complexity, space complexity, all this, right? So, based on this correlation, okay, you can select features. Keep these two concepts in mind. One is what we have to do with respect to feature. One is what we have to do with respect to feature and outcome. So what we have to do with respect to feature and outcome, if one particular feature is not that much correlated with outcome, that means our outcome is not that much dependent on that particular feature. So we can ignore th that while creating the model. And if one particular feature F1 is highly correlated with F2, which is another feature of our data set, that means basically F1 and F2, both features are going to influence our outcome in the same way. So there is no meaning in keeping both of them. Okay, both keeping both of them is irrelevant. So we are going to keep only one of them. So this is what is with respect to feature selection using correlation. And you need to remember only this particular inbuilt function for plot. And you will be getting all the uh, features. Okay, and again, if you just uh, check the correlation values, one more thing I wanted to show you. If you just observe this particular graph, See, it is symmetric matrix, right? Which is one of the major feature of correlation matrix. See, why and how you can simply understand. Consider the left main diagonal and you can basically consider only one part, either the bottom part of the main diagonal or upper part because both bottom and upper part are basically what? Similar because this is symmetric matrix. Why symmetric? Because see, insulin, consider this particular 
diagram okay here what the diagram is signifying insulin and skin thickness right i hope you can understand similarly you can if you just take transpose in the reverse way here this is see you are getting the same 0.44 because what this is showing this is showing skin thickness and insulin right correlation in between x and y is same what is the correlation in between y and x so that's why this is coming as symmetric okay if you can check here this is basically outcome and pregnancy a number of times a person became pregnant okay this is the correlation similarly here you are getting the same outcome and number of times pregnancy okay so basically one one part either upper part or lower part you can consider with respect to main diagonal whereas the main diagonal is showing the distribution so this is what i wanted to show you with respect to core plot i hope the feature selection and importance is clear to you to reduce the space and time complexity you must do this and you have to do this wisely okay i am going to show you some more important uh, feature selection technique in my upcoming videos hope it will be helpful if you find this video interesting and helpful then please have a like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you for watching